Ramsey Cemetery here, and uh, there was a lot of rumors about Ramsey Cemetery being haunted. Ramsey Cemetery all the way in, uh, well, halfway in, we're like in the middle, and uh, standing be uh, right behind me here is a mausoleum. Uh, this is actually a one one of the ones that a lot of people in the day actually um, broke into, uh, reports of uh, um, red eyes and stuff like that back here. And uh, we're going to actually just get right into it and do a ghost box right here in the back. And like I was saying, it's a cemetery. I think a lot of the energy died down in it. Then, you know, what makes a place haunted is all, all the reports and people coming out here and keeping the story going. And that what really makes a place haunted, I think. I mean, this place has been vandalized so many times. And I think that's what makes a cemetery haunted is the vandalism because you're contaminating the holy grounds. Becky's over there taking pictures. Let's see if we get something. Actually, I'm gonna put this down over here. See if, uh... Hopefully it stays. Is there any spirits over here? You can speak instantly to us. What is your name? You know, there's another reason why we don't do <laughs> daytime investigations, too, is because Ah, oh, bees attacking me. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Um, the reason why we don't do day investigations as well is uh, I have a strong belief in like the energy from the sun interferes with the manifestations of actual spirits. Um, doesn't mean they're not there. Uh, yeah, it doesn't mean they're not there. It's I, just tougher to see them and stuff. It's just, yeah, with the, our night vision camera, we can actually pick up on stuff a lot easier. You know, the lights, lights that we can't see with our own eyes. Duncan? Hello? Is there anything you'd like to talk to us about? Try the entity, entity sensor. Sounds like the same guy keeps on cutting through. That kind of sounded like whatever. Actually, I'm feeling something behind it. Yeah. Dude! <laughs> Put that box down. All right. You're welcome. Dude! <laughs> Put 
put that box down. All right. You're welcome. A lot of people are itching to go see the witches' circle, so uh, let's go check that out. Let's just walk over there. I'll probably just leave the ghost box on, see if uh, something just starts talking as we're walking. Yeah, Ramsey Cemetery. There's a, a there is a supposed witch circle in the back of um, the cemetery. Um, it's called the the Holy Neg Negativity. And what it is, is about the, some nuns that were supposedly, they went bad and practice, started practicing uh, dark uh, magic. Uh, and all of a sudden, they get buried out here. That's all really the, what the reports are of what happened. Yes, there was people, and there probably still is, people coming out here and practicing witchcraft on the backs on the back uh, area. And we're gonna probably go back there right away because there is energy there all the time. There's strange mid Don't go, I think that said. What's your name? Enter. Are you are you referring to this little thing right over here? The two trees? Yeah, I felt something back here too. Maybe. I do have problems of entering things that look like doorways. Well, they say that the witch's house or something is back there. There's no way I'm gonna go back there. It's not in shorts, anyway. <laughs> This can't be it, though. Are there nuns out here? Save me. Save you? Are you stuck here in the cemetery? Who needs to be saved? What's your name? And what I mean by save, it doesn't necessarily mean go to heaven or whatever. Um, they just need to leave our plane, wherever it may be. The devil. Are these pets? The pet cemetery, man. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Some uh, Stephen King's pet cemetery where the animals come to life. Also, I'm walking through here. Ah! Get eaten by a, like, no skin dog. <laughs> okay. Does dogs have souls? Animals? 
Can you, uh, can they speak after they're, uh, still dead? If I still hear him barking, then... Yeah. Come here! Come here! Speak! Speak! No, I'm not seeing any or feeling any. I'm just uh, going to see if uh, we get any uh, responses. Let's see. Hopefully we don't get bugged by these people. I don't know. Fortunately, that's the bad part of going into the cemetery is feeling other people's pain. All right, we'll continue. See if I get that could have interrupted it. Come here. Speak, Daddy. If you get bit and it's not my fault. Huh? I said if you get bit and it's not my fault. Yeah, a rabbit, a rabbit dog, ghost dog. I just feel really, really weird with inside the circle. Um, yeah, there's a sign saying Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery. But here it is. I don't know if you want to film it here. You mean this indent circle? No. Oh, the whole thing here. Oh, what is this? There's four co cornerstones. Well, this is part of that story about, um, where is it? St. Mary Springs. St. Mary Springs is connected to this right, particular right here. The rumor is, like I was saying, is that these, uh, these nuns were kicked out of their, their convent for practicing witchcraft and... Um, they got caught for, but the the actual reports say that they were caught for uh, having kids, and uh, they pretty much got kicked out of the convent doing it that way. But then, then the rumors of the witchcraft stuff happened, and then they come out here, and they came out here, and they buried them here. I'll actually put what this means on the bottom of the screen. Um, I do have records of like what that actually means. What do you feel inside here? I mean, you're inside it. It definitely felt like it was like an invisible... Ley lines? Yeah, almost like ley lines, like energy lines between these cornerstones that's set up at four corners. It, ma it makes like an invisible box. Yeah, like on certain days, like around Halloween, actually, there'll be candles and stuff around this. Let's see if we can get something on the ghost box. Are the Sisters of the Holy Nativity here? That's me. Would you like to speak with us? Uh, clear your name? No! Why are you yelling at me? Cuz? Because why? What was that? I sound like in the Bible. You don't like me, do you? What did you say? Sound like something kind of like in the Bible. In the Bible? Yeah. I don't see how that's a reference. I have to listen to it again. Do you like me? Hello. 
Hello? Why don't you like me? Why don't you like me? And the only reason why I'm saying that is like I feel anger towards me right now. I don't even know why. They're not they're not telling me why. Are you actually buried here, or is this just the circle? There's no one buried here. It is huh? really hot out here. I don't feel that inside. anybody's buried here. No, that's why I asked. I think just the energy of it. I don't know, it's weird. I think the ones that had like really tragic deaths are the ones that we'll probably pick up on unless... What's your your name? Are you a little how old are you? Twenty one? What's your name? Is there a little kid over here? What's your name? What's this last name? Can you see it? Can you see her last name? What's this say? I can't pronounce it right. Can you tell me your name? Can you say that again, please? Can you say it loud and clear? I, I don't, I can't hear you. I need to know your last name. We're going to do some history on your last name. Can you pronounce it for me, please? Can you say that again, please? Okay. <clears throat> What's this name? I need to know this last name. Can you say this name for me, please? The gravestone in front of me. I need to know the last name. Can you say it out loud, please? Why? Because I'm going to do some uh, history on your family. like to talk to us. Just say your last name and we'll find your last name on the on the tombstone. Do you want us to leave you alone? these cool looking things I like this just 
Just yell out your name and we'll stop in front of your grave. Is there a Frank around us? Sound like Prince to me. Huh? Sound like Prince to me. Prince? Yeah. Sean? Did you say Sean? Really? I do have family built buried in this in this cemetery. My grandpa. Yeah, it's not I as the cross and I'm like, It's not as strong yeah. as uh back there down there. Yeah, well I said the other cornerstone is missing. I'm just seeing things on the corner of my eyes. Like shit moving. I swear to see something <laughs> walking across the street down there. It's nice up here. I'm, uh, I'm actually cooling down. Yeah, it's a nice little breeze coming through. Right up the hill. I don't know. A lot of people ask why we didn't do this cemetery, and, and you know, it's it's one of those things that uh, you just really try to stay away from. It's just the simple fact that you want to respect them. You know, we all go through it. We all die eventually. And it's the whole reason, you know, why we all want to get answers. And I think it's always going to... It's always going to be... Are you related to me? These are all man. Really? Yeah. Wow. Record. Wow. Are you related to me? Wow, we're picking up all a bunch of stuff right here. It's messed up. Yeah, it is. I mean, I knew I have people. I only know of my grandpa out here. Not a, a family. Yeah. Baby man. And that was like when things started to go off as we walked past that. Yeah, one. it started being active. My name is Brian Man. Mm -hmm. Any of you want to speak? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
what? My six year old. That just freaks me out. I was just talking about all of those dying and. <clears throat> and you didn't know that they were there? No, I didn't. I mean, I will look up more information about that. And Becky, did they get a picture of all yeah. of those? Painter? Leader. I'm just... Fox. This thing's just like really active all of a sudden right here. Did I spark something over here or what? <laughs> Can we say goodbye? We're gonna go to a different location. It's got dead all of a sudden. That thing's always been that over there is like. Did you? Yeah. That thing's like. Really cool. It does look really cool. I'm gonna go I over there. It's the same last name as this one. Right here, right behind you here. The same last name as that over there. Feeling some energy coming towards us again. Yeah. Dog. We're past the pet stuff. Uh, we're not in the cemetery anymore. <clears throat> I said I actually. As we're walking, while coming in here, I told Jesse and Becky that uh, my wife lost triplets and they're buried in the cemetery across from here. Uh, it's just. Uh, That's quite some time ago. It is some time ago, but. Uh, that was what? Over that, 10 years ago? That yeah, that stuff doesn't leave your memory. Triplets. <laughs> she was so mad. She was so mad at us. Yeah, I didn't know. I, I don't really want to get into that. It's kind of bringing a lot of shit up. Yeah. I'm more of a type of person that, like, it happens. Things happen for a reason, but like when it comes to like pain, I'm more of a person like yes, I'll keep them in memory, but I won't want to keep like a picture of them around to remind me of that pain. And I think letting go is the most important thing that anybody should do before they die or living and that's why I feel a lot of spirits hang around it's just like they have they can't let go